Today's video is sponsored by Scoop, which is unironically going to be the product we are reviewing today. Full disclaimer, this video is not being viewed prior to the release of the video and it's not being influenced in any way by Scoop themselves. Everything you guys are seeing is exactly what they are seeing and everything in today's video is the opinions of a non-professional piano player. I've been completely self-taught, well almost completely, so take everything with a grain of salt. I'm going to be doing a walkthrough and sharing my user experience with this app with you guys but before i get to the actual video i want to say that scoop has given me a giveaway code to give to one of you special people i'll talk about the giveaway later on in the video but with that said let's get started now i want to start off the things you should consider before signing up for this application now i would recommend using this with a meta supported keyboard and with an acoustic piano obviously it has to resort to using the onboard microphone of whatever device you're using and depending on the quality of the microphone it will most likely result in a bad translation between the key that you're pressing and the key that the computer or the software thinks you're pressing, if that makes any sense. One more thing I forgot to mention is that the artist selection isn't the widest, but we'll get to more on that in a minute. Now, one of my favorite parts about Scoop is how easy it is to set up. It's so easy, in fact, even my dog could do it. So what you want to do is you want to log on to the Scoop website, create an account using your real name, email, and password, and then bada bing, bada boom, you're on the Scoop homepage. Once you're on the Scoof homepage, go to the three bars on the top left, click the keyboard settings, and then set up your keyboard. Assuming that you set up your piano or keyboard, I'm going to be showing you the list of courses Scoof has to offer. If you opted for the premium subscription, you get over 400 courses and monthly updated courses and songs. They also have a free account. It is not a free trial. You get a permanent free account, but you only have access to 25 other songs. And you don't get monthly updated lessons or songs as well. Now, I know what you're probably saying. Can I just look at something on YouTube and get the tutorials or courses from there? And while you can do that, it's much more effective and much easier, in my opinion, to sign up for the at least the, the free account than it is to look up tutorials and courses on YouTube. Now, this is coming from somebody who does piano tutorials on YouTube and has looked up many, many courses, many, many songs on YouTube as well over the past eight or nine years. This app is incredible. Now, one thing I want to talk about is the pricing. Now, let's say if you go to piano lessons, you probably notice it is very expensive. Some of them ranging from $70 to $100 per visit. Now, this ranges from $19 to $9, depending on what plan you choose. Now, keep in mind that you're doing all of your piano learning from the comfort of your own home. You don't have to go outside. You don't have to go to a piano place. So now time for the moment you guys have been waiting for, and that is the giveaway details. The giveaway details, all you have to subscribe. You have to go down to the comment section down below and type in whatever you want, basically. I'd be interested to see what you guys say about this video. One more thing you want to do is type in your social media account. I prefer Instagram, so if you have an Instagram handle, let me know so that way I could choose a winner and I can DM the winner through Instagram. It's just the easiest way for me possible. Now, please know if you are willing to sign up for the competition or the giveaway, you have to respond within 48 hours. Otherwise, the giveaway will be redrawn because it's just unfair for everybody else. Now, one thing I want to mention is that Scoop has a nice visual feedback. So let's say if you're playing your song, you press the note and it will probably, it may illuminate red. That's meaning that is incorrect if you press it and it's green that means you are in the right path but if you press it and it's yellow it means you're in the right note but wrong timing now sometimes they will replace the onboard sheet music notes with question marks that will kind of train your ear subconsciously as you're playing all in all i think scoop is an excellent experience and i think it's a must have for any beginner at learning the piano even if you're an experienced pianist like me i still find this app really useful and I will recommend it to anybody else who is interested in learning the piano. So if you guys do like the video, you know what to do. Subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.